what time it pickups is of the week. New pickups that I have picked up throughout the week. Thank y'all for tuning in to Ravenous Toy Finds. So glad to see y'all. Got some really, really good pickups. Start off with the first one. All right, so this one is from the J Case. This is a recolor, and this is going to be the Hot Weiler, like Rock Weiler, but the Hot Weiler. And you can see that it's got the whole face of a dog and stuff. You got the chain, and this is from the uh, Street Beast main line right here and again uh it is from the j case as you can see right there awesome you know how i like my my recolors i got like multiple recolors in my main line i mean i'll tell you what there's so many all right so this is um i think this is j case or l case i'm not sure um, whenever you pick up, uh, mainline Hot Wheels from like Winn-Dixie or Publix or so on, so on, um, they don't go by, you know, L case or K or B or C. They don't do that. So they go by, uh, like C5. So on this one is GT B89 M7 C5. Don't know, yeah, but um, I do have this one here, and I think I got like uh, two more that are like this. But I saw this and I don't have this one, so this is the pixel shaker, and I thought that was cool. It's four out of five from the Tune series, and you know, it's just a pixelated uh, version of the uh of the bone shaker and uh i think these are really really cool like seriously the other ones i don't have this right here and not in this color scheme at all either but yeah like again as you can see up at the top it's not like how you see here you see up at the top we go by okay it's jk's but here yeah so it's it's a little kind of uh, a little weird you know trying to figure out if it's from like you know k or l or m you know but i mean hey look out in your uh, local Publix, in your local winn dixie anything local grocery stores you'll find some good finds and you know hey that's where i found that one so let's move on to to walmart and Walmart is starting to do this weird shit. I don't know what it is. Um, they're starting to update all of their shelves. I just don't like it. You know, it's like shorter. And I'm just like, I'm not a big fan. Because now I got to go, you know, down low and uh, go through. You know, at first I could stand up right, go through and bam, 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 bam. And then move on. Bam, 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 bam. But no. Now I got to go, uh, and then, and then I, you know, I got to move on. And then, and then where you have your, um, you got your real riders, you know, the, the Hot Wheels premium, those are where you can stand up right with the Johnny lightnings and the M twos and stuff like that all in one section, but where the Hot Wheels and the matchboxes and all the five packs for each one down below, there's new shelf and then new shelf new shelf no not a big fan leave down in the comments if you're a big fan or not i would like to know because uh hey no matter what all the walmarts are starting to change including the targets and y'all are gonna see some new content that i got from target exciting content so stay tuned for that all right, so this is from Walmart, and this is D case. It says it's from 2017, so I was like, "What? Okay." All right, so we got the uh, chill meal, and I got a few of these. I do, but I don't have this this paint scheme right here. I don't. As you can see, 
right here it says ring toss. You know, it's kind of like like a whole carnival theme. Love that color. That's cool. The juicy, the juicy stuff. That's right. I got some more character cars that I've been looking for for the longest freaking time. And also one of my favorite Fast and Furious. Anybody seen the Fast and Furious 9 movie? Love that movie. Fast 9 is so awesome. I know everybody's got their, like, you know, their kicks. Oh, man, they should have never done it. They should have just stopped at 8. Whatever. I'm super excited. And then they got part 10 going into two parts. Oh, yeah. Read your news, people. Read your news. There is part 10 coming up in two different parts. Went by a Winn-Dixie. And uh, sometimes, you know, uh, like I said, you got to pay attention. Uh, they got their mainline Hot Wheels. Uh, and, and sometimes, you know, it could be a bus. It can be, you know, uh, good. It can be bad, you know, and so on, so on. Well, uh, sometimes when they do their, like, seasonal stuff, kind of like Easter and, like, Christmas and stuff like that, you know, maybe, like, going back into school and stuff like that. Well, this was sitting on the shelf. And this is from the new Disney line of the character cars. And I found, that's right, I found Pongo from the 101 Dalmatians. I cannot believe this is the first appearance of him. Found this. And out of here is going to be basic, basically the same ones that were in the earlier sets and I definitely need Ariel but she goes with a, uh, another set that I need so I need that where up at the top it says that Siri number the series number and um I think uh yeah I saw Bruce Bruce is the first appearance for this series here too and Bruce is from uh Finding Nemo and this is a sick vehicle look at that See that? That is sick. When I saw that, I was like, what? But I seen it in person, but I didn't grab it. But uh, this right here, this, I mean, this is, this is really cool. I really like this. That that's, that that's the main reason why I like the character cards, because they just go with the characteristics of the character, and they just base it into a car. I mean... I will go over so many more of my character cars because if you don't believe me, I do have a big collection of the character cars. So stay tuned for when I do a toy room breakdown of all my Hot Wheels character cars coming soon. Uh, let's get back into it. All right, these two right here, uh, they've been doing a uh, Warner Brothers. Uh, Hot Wheels, they did a, a collab with Warner Brothers, and they uh, released a, a whole, like, a five-car series with Warner Brothers, and I got at least three of them. Now, the one and two were hard to find. If you know what I'm talking about, I'm about to show y'all. Really, really hard to find. I went into Walmart one day, and bam, I found them found them and I said no not today I'm not skipping on them I'm buying them so I found Tom the cat that's right had to these right here are so hard to find you know you know for sure that these are really really hard to find I mean it's just crazy you can find Hell, you could find Shaggy, you could find Fred Flintstone, and you could find Scooby-Doo. Fred Flintstone is a shelf warmer. But these two here, <laughs> yeah, when they get the cases, there's only like one or two that are in there, in the package. And then there's multiple of the rest. So these right here are really, really rare. 
So if you get them, buy them and get it for your collection. Cuz do not hesitate. Gotta get these. So that was number one from the Warner Brothers collab with Hot Wheels character cars. And that was Tom the Cat. All right, so this is number two. And this is Jerry the Mouse. Love that. Now, I think the front of it is kind of, you know, I don't know. I think they could have done, you know, a little better job. But hey, you know, sometimes you could be picky and sometimes you can't, you know, because I mean, it's already like that, you know. But, uh, I, you know, I really like it. You know, it, it, it grows on to you. You know, I mean, it's just, I'm so glad to actually get these in my collection. So like, we went through all those pickups and everything. You know, we went through all the main line. We went through good character cars. You know, the Pongo, the Tom the Cat, you know, Jerry the Mouse. Now, it's time to get into my favorite Fast and Furious movie of all time. I love every single one of all the Fast and Furious saga. So I found the Hot Wheels premium of, this is number four of five. This is the new Fast and Furious Hot Wheels premium. And this is the Dodge Charger out of the series. Love this car. Now, spoiler alert about this car in the movie that in the back there is magnets in the movie that he can attract and reattract different metals and different cars to get out of different situations that's in the scene in the movie. If you haven't seen the movie, go check out Fast 9, okay? You know, I mean, you got to check out Fast 9 because like I keep saying, there is going to be a Fast and Furious 10 with two parts. So, gotta stay caught up. Gotta stay caught up with the whole saga. I mean, come on. So, this is the Dodge Charger. And in the back, it is a mid-engine. Uh, there is the Hellcat engine actually in here, in the real car. Uh, I think there was like three or at least five different ones built for the film. Um, I may have to go back on that or y'all can go and, uh, do y'all's research and leave down in the comments to tell me if I'm wrong or right, you know, but, um, I love this car. I really do. I really like the, the way it looks, the, it's wide body. I mean, it, it's just freaking awesome. Now the real life version is just so amazing. Now the other two that I want is the Brian O'Connor. The Mitsubishi Eclipse that he had in Fast and Furious 1. And this right here, the 92 Ford Mustang. This is Dom's brother's Mustang in the movie. Another spoiler alert that they both raced. And they wanted to uh, race because he told him, um, if I win, then you have to not talk to me and leave out of town. So it was a very iconic scene for the movie. So I'm telling you, you'll have to go see Fast 9. Uh, but hey, that right there is the Fast and Furious Hot Wheels Premium Dodge Charger. Love this. Love that cast. I'll give you a better look. Yeah. That is just sweet. But yes, go see the movie. I recommend it. I'm I'm a big fan. But leave down in the comments, you know, to let me know if you're a big fan of the Fast and Furious saga. And who's your favorite character? And are you excited for Fast 10? The two-part, you know? Hey, let me know. You know? I would really, really like to know. But yeah, hey, that was the pickups of the week. Glad y'all could tune in. And um, for, you know, extra news, y'all already know that uh, when I hit 100 subscribers that I'm going to be doing a big giveaway. 
um, with that giveaway is going to be a mystery box uh, out of my collection. You won't know what it is. Um, you know, a picture. Uh, I more prefer, you know, a video of, you know, you doing it on your YouTube page or just, you know, send me a video, you know, through uh, contacts and stuff like that. But yeah, um, but yeah, we are going strong, man. We are, you know, appreciate every single one of y'all. I really do. But yeah, hey, that is the pickups of the week. So glad that I could share all these pickups with y'all. Um, leave down in the comments too. Which one was your favorite? I would really like to know, you know. Um, but yeah, come back next week for the pickups of the week. Um, I do have a toy room breakdown of my loose figure of the McFarlane toys that I'm about to uh, release too. So stay tuned for that. Um, we got plenty more toy hunts. Uh, we're going to be going through, you know, the, the Target. We're going to be going through Walmart. Uh, we got more Walgreens. Obviously, more Dollar Generals. Hey, you can't get away from any Dollar Generals when you're down here in Alabama. I'll tell you that. But, hey, that's it. Thank you all again. Thank you all for tuning in to Ravenous Toy Finds. And you know what it is. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Oh, yeah. See you next week.